Hello, my dear students. Today's lesson is going to be for grade 11 students, revision practice for the second period. We will be going over all eight sections in this examination, and they're going to be uh, about vocabulary, grammar, function, set book, writing, reading comprehension, summary making, and translation. I will be with you right after a short break. Welcome back, my dear students. As I have mentioned earlier, we're going to go over the second period examination. We will be going through the eight sections in this exam. Let's go over them. The first thing is going to be vocabulary, grammar, function, set book, writing, reading comprehension, summary making, and finally translation. Let's begin, my dear students, with the vocabulary. As you know, the vocabulary has two different parts. The first part would be, choose the correct answer from A, B, C, and D. Let's start with our first sentence. The health conference will be attended by blank professors from all around the world. Let's read the options together disposable, sickly, inaccessible, academic. Which one do you think suits the sentence? It is academic. Let's do number two. The museum displayed a collection of blank crafted by European artisans. Porcelain, impact, assumption, autograph. You should always read the sentence again if you're not sure. Which one do you think is the suitable word? Yes, it is porcelain. Very good. Number three, the jewelry box contained some gold bracelets and blank stones. The options financial, precious, flattering, decaffeinated. Which one do you think is the best answer? Let's read it again. The jewelry box contained some gold bracelets and... Very good, precious stones. Excellent for those who have tried. Let's move on to number four. Preparations for the cultural festival were the last point on our blank, on our what? On our boomerang, socket, agenda, or mailbag? Which one? Preparations for the cultural festival were the last point on our fantastic agenda. Let's move on to number five. The manager of the factory wanted us to blank, the original receipt with the returned goods. Read the options, dominant, deem, enhance, and close. Read the sentence again and read the choices again. Which one do you think best suits the sentence? Okay, it is number D. And close. Number six, the winners' names will be soon in the local newspapers. They will be what? Launched, published, nurtured, or hired? Which one do you think? The names of the winners will be what? Will be published. Fantastic. Number seven, I find it hard to work at home because there are so many blank. Distractions, empires, 
references pictograms. You find it hard to work at home. Why? Because there are what? Pictograms, distractions, which one do you think? Empires? Yes, it is. Distractions. Very good. Number eight. She has an enormous for hard work. She has an enormous necessity, security, capacity, canopy. Which one do you think? Always read the options again and again. It is capacity, letter C. Number nine, when asked to explain her behavior, she immediately started showing her, her what, her sibling, defensiveness, literacy, empathy. Which one do you think? When asked to explain her behavior, she what? She immediately started showing her Bravo, letter B, which is defensiveness. Now, my dear students, we are moving to the second part of our vocabulary. The second part is sentences, and you have to choose the suitable, correct answer from the list. We have words, and one is always going to be extra. Let's read them together. Inaccessible, literacy, rely on, mainly, pride and joy, and hold. Let's look at the part of speech. Hold is a verb. What about illiteracy? What is it? It's a noun. What about inaccessible? An adjective. Pride and joy? is an expression. Rely on a phrasal verb. Finally, we have mainly, which is an adverb. Let's start with our first sentence, which is, the school will, the graduation ceremony at the Sheraton Hotel in Kuwait City. Read the choices above and below. Which one do you think best suits the sentence? Very good. It is hold. The school will hold the graduation ceremony at the Sheraton Hotel in Kuwait City. Which is, what is hold? It's a verb. Okay, let's move on. Reducing blank is one of the objectives of the United Nations. Reducing what? Reducing pride and joy? Or reducing inaccessible? Reducing rely on? Reducing illiteracy? Or mainly? Which one do you think? It is? Excellent. It is illiteracy. Reducing illiteracy is one of the objectives of the United Nations. Number 12. Cheetahs are blank found in Africa, whereas pandas live in forests in China. Which one do you think is the correct answer? Think about it. Cheetahs are what? Pride and joy? They are mainly or inaccessible or rely on. Cheetahs are Bravo for those have tried. Mainly, cheetahs are mainly found in Africa, whereas pandas live in forests in China. They've been living in a remote and blank region. They've been living in a remote and pride and joy region, inaccessible region, or rely on. Which one? It is something you cannot reach. Which one is it? It is inaccessible. Finally, our last sentence. 
college students mobile phones to inform their parents whenever they want to stay late at the library. Which one is it? Mobile phones, pride and joy or rely on, depend on something. Which one is it? It is rely on, very good. Now my dear students, we have finished our first section. We're going to grammar. Grammar has two different parts. The first part is going to be choose the correct answer and the second part is going to be correct the underlined mistakes. Let's begin. Space. Had the doctor arrived at home, then he received an emergency call. Always read the sentence again and again and read the options once or twice. We have once, as soon as, hardly, no sooner. Which one do you think is the best answer? It is no sooner had the doctor arrived at home than he received an emergency call. Number two, my father gives me a ride to school every day as I don't have the car, a car, an car, or some car. Which one do you think? Car. What is car? The, a, an, or some. It is a car. Very good. Number three. My sister has been writing a report. Five hours and she hasn't completed it yet. For, already, since, or just. Read the sentence again. How many hours? Five hours. Okay, five hours. Is it specific? What is it? Did it say it's two o'clock? Did it mention the time? It said five hours. In this case, it would be four. Very good. My sister has been writing a report for five hours and she hasn't completed it yet. Number four. Blank. They held the meeting. They had prepared themselves very well. A. After. B. While. C. As. D. Before. Read the sentence. You can see that there are two actions in the same sentence, right? One comes before the other. So in this case, the first action was what? Had prepared themselves and the second one was they held the meeting. So what is our correct answer? Before they held the meeting, they had prepared themselves very well. Marvelous. Number five, thanks to modern technology, news, space, reach remote places in the globe. Let's read the options together. We have can, must, could, manage to. Which one do you think? News can reach remote places in the globe. Very good. Let's move on. Number six. When the prices of oil go, space air tickets become more expensive. We have out, on, against, or up. Go what? When the tickets are up because of what? The prices are? Excellent! So the correct answer is go up. Let's read the sentence. When the prices of oil go up, air tickets become more expensive. Number seven, 
you will need to finish it by today or tomorrow. The deadline is Friday. We have both, either, neither, or nor. Which one? Look at or. This is a hint. What goes always with or? It is either. You will need to finish it by either today or tomorrow. The deadline is Friday. Very good for those who have tried. Number eight. She had difficulty communicating in French. Space. All her years of study. In spite of. Although. However. But. Which one do you think best suits the sentence? Think about it. Read the options again. Read them carefully. The answer is... In spite of. She had difficulty communicating in French in spite of all her years of study. I'm surprised you haven't heard of her. She's blank famous. Brand, fairly, a little, very. Which one do you think? She's what? Should be famous, right? So she's what? She is very famous. Very good. Now, my dear students, we're going to move on to the next part of our grammar, which is correct the underlined mistakes. We have mistakes in these sentences, and I'd like you to correct these mistakes. Let's read the sentence. Be you quiet. You are making many noise. Your little brother is sleeping. So here we have be you quiet. So it is very good. It is be quiet. You are making instead of many. What's the correct answer? It is much. Be quiet. You are making much noise. Your little brother is sleeping. Let's move on with our second sentence. Although the strong waves, the ship can reach the shore safely yesterday evening. Although, what do you think is the correct answer? It is in spite of or despite. We have two answers. In spite of or despite. What about the second mistake here, which is can? What's the correct answer? Read the sentence again. In spite of the strong waves, the ship could reach the shore safely yesterday evening. Very good. Now we have the third sentence. Let's read it together. Either Sarah nor Muna cooks well. She can't prepare a single meal without assistance. Either. Either Sara nor Muna. What do you think is the mistake here? Okay, it is either, but what's the correct answer? You have nor as a hint. What goes with nor? Very good, it is neither. Neither Sara nor Muna cooks well. She can't prepare a single meal. She? Is it singular or they are what? They're two girls, right? So? They can't prepare a single meal without assistance. Let's read it together. Neither Sara nor Muna cooks well. They can't prepare a single meal without assistance. Now, let's move on to our third part of today's examination practice, which is functions. We have situations, and what would you say in these following situations? Let's read the first situation. 
Your parents disapprove of holding your graduation party in a big hotel. Persuading, expressing opinion, making suggestions. You can tell your father what? Please, Dad, it's once in a lifetime. Or if you want to make a suggestion, you can simply say, uh, why don't we go to a smaller hotel? Number two, your friend has bought a new mobile phone and is planning to throw the old one away. Expressing opinion, giving advice, stating a disadvantage. You may simply say to your friend, if you throw your phone away, it would be harmful for, to the environment. Why don't you uh, recycle it? as an advice or give it to your friend. Now let's move on to number three, which is your brother says that the internet has made people's lives miserable. Giving opinion, agreement, disagreement, giving advantages. Of course, the situation you can always answer whatever you wish you want to say. I'm just giving you some examples. You may agree over here. The internet has made people's lives miserable. You can say, yes, I do agree. You are correct. Or if you simply disagree, just say, I don't uh, agree with you. I disagree. And give advantages about the internet since you've disagreed as well. I disagree with you because uh, the internet uh, has a lot of information and we can communicate everywhere around the world. You can always say whatever you wish to. Number four, one of your friends suggests we stop using email and return to traditional letters. Agree, disagree. You can give an opinion, ask for or giving reasons. You think traditional letters are better than emails? At least what? You can practice writing instead of always typing. So you can say, I agree, I disagree. Finally, number five, you are invited to attend a wedding in Scotland, but unfortunately you have other engagements. You can show gratitude or apology. So you can simply say, thank you for inviting me. And if you want to apologize, say, I'm sorry, I cannot come. I can't make it because I have other engagements. Now, my dear students, we have moved to the fourth part of our examination period, which is set book. We have two parts in our set book. One is going to be set book questions, and the second part is going to be about the literature. Answer three of the following questions. How do you think the development of computers will affect people's use of pens and paper? As you can see, that computers nowadays affect the use of pens and paper. How? Do people write nowadays or simply they use the laptop or computer? They type it instead of writing it, correct? Let's look at the answer together. Pens and papers won't be used anymore. Messages will be sent by emails or mobile phones. These questions are general, so you can always answer related to this question, in your point of view, in your opinion, you can write anything which is related to it. Let's move on to number two. In the future, people will have a single system of writing. How far do you agree with this statement? Justify your answer. Do you think people will have a single system of writing? What do you think? You can always agree. You can disagree. Let's read the answer together. If you agree, 
you could say, I agree with this because the world has already become a small village thanks to the internet and millions of people are communicating using a single language. If you disagree, you can say, I disagree because written and spoken language is part of people's culture and if they lose their language, they will lose their culture as well. Let's move on. Number three. Mobile phones have become a necessity for people of various ages and jobs. Elaborate. Write your answer. Think about it. Let's read the answer together. Students use them to tell their parents where they are. Young men use them to chat or do business. Parents use them to check on their children. As I've told you, you can always write, but related to the questions. The pen is the tongue of the mind. Discuss the statement. The pen, when you write down, it's the tongue of the mind. It's writing what you are what. You are thinking or what's in your mind, correct? Let's read this answer together. The pen is the aid of the tongue that can record thoughts and ideas and keep them to be used again. Let's move on to the second part, which is answering one question. In your opinion, what do you think should be done after you have discovered that a certain person is a fraud? Let's read the answer together. You should inform the police immediately and never trust this person. Our final question is, are you for or against people being civilized? Elaborate. Express your opinion related to this question. Let's go over the answer together. I'm for so that they are able to socialize and communicate well with other people. They would be able to have good manners and get higher education. Now, my dear students, we uh, will be uh, going over writing, reading comprehension, making summary and translation right after a short break. See you later. Welcome back, my dear students. As I've mentioned earlier, we're going to be going over writing, reading comprehension, summary making, and translation. Let's begin now with our writing section. Let's read some of the tips for essay writing. Get started by brainstorming. Let your first draft flow. Develop three essay parts, which are in Introduction, body, and conclusion. The introduction should be one paragraph that introduces your essay. The body, several paragraphs explaining the main idea with examples. And the conclusion, one paragraph that summarizes and ends the essay. Proofread and make corrections. Now, this is what you are told to be writing about. Communication is essential for people to live together. In 14 sentences, which is 160 words, plan and write a report on the types of communication means people use these days, their drawbacks and benefits. You can make use of these ideas. Different means of communication available these days, the negative effects on people, and the benefits we get from it. When you write down your outline, make sure you have these points. You have the introduction, you have the body, and the conclusion. Let's go over the outline together. Introduction, 
introduction introduces your topic, right? So what would we say over here? We can say different means of communication used, cell phone, television, newspaper, and the internet. Then we have the body. We have a main idea, which is the negative effects on people. We can say lack of face-to-face -face social interaction. Uh, is that instead of uh, going to your friend's house or going to your relative's house, you just use your mobile phone usually, right? Uh, give false and negative messages. Your second main point or the idea is benefits we get from it. What benefits do you get from these means of communication? What do you have? We can what? We can find or catch or keep up to date or with the latest news. Communicate all around the world. Of course, you have more than one benefit, right? In the outline, write two, three examples. But in your essay, you can write more and more. Conclusion. People should make good use of such means of communication. This is just a simple outline. Then you can write your essay, but make sure you have your ideas. You can add more, but you have to stick to these 14 sentences. Now, my dear students, we are moving to the second part of our today's examination revision, which is the reading comprehension. First, you have to read the article. Read the questions. You can go back to the article again, read it once, twice, and then you can answer. Let's read together. Our world was a lot different just a few decades ago. People spent more time outdoors, but today video games and hundreds of TV channels often compete with walking in the park or planting a garden. Safety fears, pollution, and limited green spaces in cities also keep many people indoors. Young people now spend about six hours a day in front of a TV or a computer and less than four minutes playing outdoors. That statistic comes from the U.S. Department of the Interior, an agency that manages many of the nation's park. Not that technology is bad, but it is not healthy for the mind and the body when time spent on technology replaces outdoor time, says Dr. Daphne Miller, a family doctor who always teaches medicine at the University of California, San Francisco. Many health experts call the problem of kids not spending enough time outdoors nature deficit disorder. Scientific studies support the claims that a nature deficit can harm the mind and the body. And some health experts have started calling green time vitamin G. Kids who don't get outdoors much are more likely to have attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, and depression. They also tend to have trouble in school. Doctors believe that is because being outdoors stimulates the mind more than sitting around indoors. Even those who usually spend a lot of time outdoors notice a difference when they don't get enough green time. Studies by Cornell University environmental psychologists Nancy Wells show that kids who have easy access to nature areas cope with stress better. They adapt faster when they move to a new place and fight less with family members. The studies also indicate that kids who move to places with more green space do better at school and that spending time outside helps improve symptoms for kids with depression and ADHD. The U.S. government launched the America's Great Outdoors program programs to help make more outdoor spaces and activities safe and accessible to all. Those programs are encouraging people to try fun outdoor activities 
such as hiking and swimming at parks, beaches, forests, and farms. According to America's Great Outdoors, Americans report better health, greater happiness, and more quality family time when they get more green time. Doctors have started giving their patients a dose of vitamin G. Dr. Miller writes park prescriptions for her patients because she says being outdoors is good for your health. She finds that when she gives patients prescriptions, they tend to accept them willingly. Her prescriptions tell people exactly where to go, how often, and how long to stay active. Now, my dear students, we will begin our questions. I want you to choose the correct answer from A, B, C, and D. You can always go back to the reading text or the article. First question, the main purpose of this passage is to show the reader the need to keep kids indoors, the effects of playing video games, the benefits of staying at home, or the importance of playing outdoors. What do you think is the correct answer? This passage is to show the reader what? The importance of playing outdoors. Number two, the opposite of the underlined word adapt in the fourth paragraph is handle, adjust, unfit, or survive. Read the question carefully. Read it again. Do not get confused between opposite or the similar meaning. You have to make sure that it's the opposite of the word. Is it handle, adjust, unfit, or survive? The opposite is unfit. Very good. Number three, according to the passage, when you go outdoors, you will be healthier, you will have more stress, you feel more tired, you feel less happy. This answer is, of course, according to your passage, the one you have just read. What is the real answer? It is, according to the passage, when you go outdoors, you will be healthier. Number four, the underlined word stimulates in the third paragraph means. Over here, they want what it means, what the stimulates means, not the opposite. Let's look at the options. Encourages something to happen, makes something sleepy, decreases something's energy, stops something from working. Let's read this sentence again. Doctors believe that is because being outdoors stimulates the mind more than sitting around indoors. What does stimulates mean here? It means encourages something to happen. Always go back to the text to make sure you have the correct answer. Finally, the last sentence, the underlined word they in the fifth paragraph refers to forests, farms, Americans or programs. We can again go back and read it. According to America's Great Outdoors, Americans report better health, greater happiness and more quality family time when they get more green time. So over here, what does they refer to? Which is the correct answer? It is Americans. So they refer to Americans over here. Now our second part of the reading comprehension over here is that we have questions and you need to answer them referring to the passage. Why do many people prefer to stay indoors? They have safety fears, they escape pollution, there are limited green spaces, they like video games and TV channels. Number seven, how much time do you young people spend outdoors these days? How much time do you think that? Again, you can always go back, right? 
Let's read the answer. Young people now spend about six hours a day in front of a TV or a computer and less than four minutes playing outdoors, which is less than four minutes a day. Question number eight. How does Dr. Miller treat her patients? How does Dr. Miller treat her patients? Again, my dear students, go back to the text and look for the answer. Let's read it together. She gives them park prescriptions. She advises them to go outdoors. She tells them exactly where to go, how often and how long to stay active. Let's move on to our last question. Number nine. What do Dr. Miller's prescriptions tell them? Her prescriptions tell people exactly where to go, how often and how long to stay active. My dear students, bear in mind that you have to read the text more than once. Read the questions once, twice, it should be more than once and proofread your answers. Let's move on to our fourth part, which is summary making. In not less than three sentences, summarize paragraph four, showing the benefits of green space. Over here, you are supposed to be writing a summary about a given question, given topic. Go back to the paragraph, because it's mentioned already, Underline the important points. Summarize the benefits of green space. Let's read the answer together. Children who spend enough time outdoors cope with stress better. They adapt faster when they move to a new place. They fight less with family members. They do better at school and children with ADHD get better. In the summary, always write it in a whole paragraph. Do not write points. It should be in a paragraph. Now, let's move on to our last final section of our today's examination period, which is translation. First, I'd like you to answer from English to Arabic. The second part would be the opposite, Arabic into English. Our world was a lot different just a few decades ago. People spent more time outdoors. But today, video games and hundreds of television channels often compete with walking in the park or planting a garden. When you translate this, do not translate every single word. Translate it as a whole. Read the sentences again and then translate it. Let's read the answer together. كان عالمنا مختلفا جدا قبل عدة عقود. كان الناس يقضون وقتا أكبر خارج البيت. أما هذه الأيام فقد أصبحت ألعاب الفيديو والمئات من قنوات التلفزيون تنافس المشي في المنتزهات العامة أو زراعة الحدائق. Now, this is the second part of translation. We have Arabic sentences and we want to translate them into good English. Mbarak, Lakat Taharajat Sheikha Suad Muhammad al Subah, Minkuliat al Uktasad, Wal Ulum Siasia, Fijam at al Kahira, Am Elfut Semio Therato Sabin. Khalid, Naam, Wahasalat Aidan, Ala Derajat al Dictora, Fil Uktasad, Minal Memlekal Mutahida, Am Elfut Semio Wahidu Thimanin. Now, my dear students, please translate this into good English. Translate it as a whole. Let's read the answer together. Barak, Sheikh Su'ad Muhammad al Sabah graduated from the Faculty of Economics and Political Sciences at Cairo University in 1973. Khalid, yes, and she also obtained a doctorate in economics from the United Kingdom in 1981. As you can see, my dear students, we have come to an end with today's lesson, which was a revision for the second examination period. Please, my students, if you have any questions, never hesitate 
to ask your teachers, write notes, write answers down, proofread them, study them well for your exams. I hope you have benefited with our revision today. Please study well, good luck, and thank you. Thank <laughs> you.